if you're like me, you've probably forgotten where you've parked the car from time to time. And there's a great feature on the iPhone that tells you where you've parked your car. And I'm going to go into that in a moment. And it was some friends, uh, old schoolmates on Facebook that reminded me about this because they were surprised that they could see on the maps where they'd parked the car. And I've been using that for quite a while. But before this feature came along, what I used to do was photograph where I've parked. And, you know, that would maybe the road or road sign or maybe even the aisle that I'd parked in at the car park. So this is a, was really quite handy, actually. And the other thing about taking the photograph is, you know, it picks up the GPS signal and your photograph actually shows the location where it's taken. So you could use that as well. So how does it know where you've parked your car? Well, obviously it's using the GPS, but it's also using the Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth is connecting to your car so you can speak hands-free or maybe listen to music or podcasts or whatever. Then when you switch the car off, the Bluetooth knows that it's disconnected and it goes, ah, you must have parked and hey presto, it kind of drops a pin of where you've parked. And that's really, really very, very handy. So that's how it works. It's because it's connected to the Bluetooth. So if it's not working on your iPhone, then it's probably because you haven't got the Bluetooth connected. So good idea, connect up the Bluetooth. Hopefully you've got Bluetooth on your car. Most modern cars have got Bluetooth in there. It then gives you hands free and you can listen to whatever you like then. If you found this useful, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. I've got plenty of videos on my YouTube channel and take care driving as well and remember where you've parked your car.